1878 handicap chase it's the third on the card over three miles 18 fences in all to be jumped almost two circuits of the track and there's a decent old clip being set as they make their way to the first magna sam is prominent so too is killer kane one of the kempton specialists in the field carl philippe though it was who landed in the lead over the first in the hands of jack hogan two on the inside unanswered prayers and it's unanswered prayers that goes on at fence number two the first of the ditches towards the back of the field our jet magna sam having been prominent has now gone back through the field former edinburgh national winner neon moon is also towards the back quick draw looking for a quick double for De Boyneville and Henderson is posted a little bit wide on that turn there in mid division on the outside of Killer Kane so they're making their way around the top turn they'll head towards the next part of the track on which there are four fences to be jumped and it's unanswered prayers the subject of quite a bit of market support leads by length to Carl Philippe who's racing in second and Killer Kane for the Tizard team racing in third position there in the sheepskin noseband then towards the inner Galahad quest in the maroon and pink followed by quick draw towards the outer in the headgear and neon moon and then the last two are our jet and magnus sam jump the first of the fences over on the far side that was plain this is plain as well and an answered prayers jumped it well to carl philippe who's sitting in second the fergal o'brien team looking for a quick double as well the yellow and red colors then galahad quest who's racing in third followed then by killer kane in fourth as it come to fence five it's an open ditch leading duo jumped it well they all got over pretty professionally as befits uh, pretty experienced staying handicap chasers as they come towards the next it's unanswered prayers to carl philippe and killer kane Followed up the inside by Galahad Quest and then Quick Draw, followed by Neon Moon. Then our jet is last but one and Magnus Sam showing one or two signs of being slightly outpaced. He did jump off quite prominently but has gone right back through the field to sit in last position. So time for a little bit of a, a breather as they make their way around the turn and head on into the home straight still with well over a circuit to go of course. Three plane fences in the home straight and it's unanswered prayers. In the hands of Rex Dingle, who leads to Carl Philippe, who's in second. Galahad Quest is going the shortest way in the hands of David Noonan up the inside in third. Course and distance winner Killer Kane jumped that well. Uh, followed by Neon Moon and Our Jet. And then quick draw the maroon jacket. De Boyneville just nudged along for a stride or two there. And Magna Sam is at the rear of the field. Down towards what will be the second last in a circuit's time. And again, an answered prayers has popped over his fences very well thus far. Leads by two and a half to Carl Philippe, who's in second. And then Galahad Quest and Killer Kane. And Neon Moon and Quick Draw and Our Jet and Magna Sam. Coming to this one now. Again, an answered prayer. Saw a good stride and took half to maybe a length out of the field there. Has jumped really well. Enjoyed himself on the front end. Two and a half lengths to the good. Over in second position, Carl Philippe and then Killer Kane, the black and yellow colours. Galahad Quest has gone comprehensively the shortest way right up the inside rail they're giving that up to nobody then neon moon followed then on the outside by quick drawn to boyneville getting animated in the saddle again then our jet the very pale colors and magna sam is at the back of the field as they pass their point of departure with nine more fences left to jump and it's unanswered prayers who continues to lead them towards this next obstacle and in second carl philippe the red cap who has tracked the leader throughout then killer kane who's racing in third for brendan powell then up the inside galahad quest followed then by neon moon and quick draw as they take that one and again a quick leap from unanswered prayers to carl philippe in second magnus sam now just getting a little bit outpaced at the rear of the field being pushed along by another double seeking jockey jonathan burke as they take the open ditch slow over that was quick draw towards the rear of the field and he's now been passed by magnus sam there's unanswered prayers who's just getting one or two of them at it here now as they go towards the apex of the track leads by about three and a half lengths to carl philippe in second galahad quest with a ground saving run up the inside then killer kane followed by neon moon in those yellow sleeves our jet moves a little bit closer the big white face then Magna Sam and Quick Draw is huffing and puffing a little bit at the rear of the field. Seven more fences left to jump, four in this line as they now come down the side of the track. And it's unanswered prayers. Rex Dingle thus far is at an armchair ride. Leads by a couple as they come towards the next. And again, jumps it well. The Carl Philippe, who was quick over it in second. Galahad Quest, the maroon and pink, still goes nicely up the inside. Killer Kane now just getting nudged on along a little bit there by Brendan Powell as they come to the next. And it's unanswered prayers who jumped it well. Killer Kane on the outside now 
now moves into second. Carl Philippe in third. Galahad Quest wasn't desperately fluent over that. Then Neon Moon, the rest now just beginning to struggle, headed by our jet. Down towards the final ditch they come, unanswered prayers. Saw not quite as good a stride as he has over some of his previous fences, but still got over quick enough to Carl Philippe in second. Killer Kane in third. Neon Moon gets a little bit closer in third. Lovely leap there from unanswered prayers at the fourth last fence and goes on by about four or five lengths to Carl Philippe in second. Now driven along round the outside is Killer Kane, then Neon Moon, Galahad Quest going backwards, our jet is staying on, but lots to do from there, making the swing for home very shortly, three and a half furlongs left to go and three more fences to jump, and it's unanswered prayers by four lengths to Carl Philippe in second, Killer Kane, the black and yellow colours of Sheepskin Noseband is in third, well clear now from Neon Moon, none goes better than this leader, unanswered prayers for Rex Dingle, looking to try and make just about every yard, again saw a big stride there at the third last, to Carl Philippe in second, who hasn't given up, unanswered prayers now, just firing off a distress flare or two as they come towards the second last, unanswered prayers the green, Carl Philippe the yellow and red at the second last now, unanswered prayers another good jump, Carl Philippe just uh, jumped into that one there as they took the second last fence, just over a furlong to go and one more fence to take unanswered prayers the far side Carl Philippe the near, coming to the final obstacle now, how do they jump it both pretty well, Carl Philippe just about landed in the lead and now goes on by a neck or so inside the final half furlong and it's Carl Philippe for a double for Fergal O'Brien. Carl Philippe the winner. Two in second position, the gallant unanswered prayers. Neon Moon has finished in third. Killer Kane will just hang on for fourth.